hello everybody uh, another quick video of a kit that I put together um, that I wanted to get listed uh, fairly quickly so um, before I get started this kit is built on or built around I should say uh, let's see there's a bunch of stuff in here this Heidi book sorry it's yeah a little bit disorganized kind of disorganized I just didn't put everything in one group so anyway this is the cover um, that everything is sort of um, built around okay and what I'll do is just kind of go through the paper first and then go through some of the other pieces um, last um, let's see this measures let me do this right I'm trying to get everything on the camera I love the color of this book five by seven and a half that's a good size I think that's the uh, junk journal makers favorite size or six by four or something like that so anyway um, five by seven and a half uh, I, it gutted came away pretty nice nicely alright there's the inside cover um, I left the obviously the inscription there I love the purple with the blue and then I built the kit around her pink tights her purple um, little pinafold or skirt part or whatever you call it and then just some of the other um, teals and greens um, that show up in the cover okay so that's what this is built around I originally um, had wanted to avocado dye these two pieces uh, I tried my hand at avocado dyeing and let's see if I can find one of the pieces that came out I'm not even sure where I put it but um, there were two pieces that I did avocado dye and they came out a really pretty pink so I'm just gonna leave these white like that and you can coffee dye them yourselves or leave them the way they are the reason why I include um, fabric in here guys is because fabric is like awesome for journals you know if you're looking to create sort of a tattered worn look um, a shabby chic look this has already got a little rip right there so a lot of the this would make a beautiful um, you know part that piece that you can cut up and it's old that's why I like it too because it's an old piece and it's a fairly large piece um, these do not come from anything of my personal um, you know gifts for my mother or great aunt's estate or anything these were just pieces that I have uh, let's see what else what else okay so let me just get right down to the paper part of things because there's a lot to go through uh, let's see here okay first off I've got some contemporary pieces I, and actually guys maybe I'm just not gonna talk oh let me just say this right now this is a piece that does come from my estate this is another piece my mom gave me so I did add that in there and I think it's so pretty okay um, so it does coordinate with the blues and purples so that does come my mom gave me quite a bit of different um, family um, old pieces like this hankies um, you know for my great auntie my grandmother and my great grandmother's estates so this is one of those um, what else do I have in here okay so we're going with pinks purples blues those kinds of colors um, what I did is and I'll try not to talk if you have questions leave a comment and ask me the best way to contact me about anything is through Etsy um, um, Etsy is where I live um, when I'm not teaching and working <laughs> that's where I am so that's the best way to contact me okay so I went with the purples the pinks the blues the teals and greens um, and I won't talk I'll just show you what I have if there's something um, super cool like some Mary Poppin um, pieces um, then I'll I'll chime in okay all right uh, let's see contemporary everything is vintage 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 or vintage inspired all right and there are some modern 
pieces like what I'm getting to right now. Okay, things you can make um, tags out of, or uh, pockets out of, or pages out of, or for covers out of. It's just a mix of things, but everything mostly is vintage. So here we go. Um, this is the book. This is an old piece. Um, these are two vintage um, pieces here. And so now I'll show you just a couple of modern pieces um, of paper that you can add to the book. I try to. Um, include lots of um, pieces that will sort of help you fill up your book all right so that's kind of whoops sorry guys let me rock you around for a second I want to make sure I'm focused out there we go okay all right uh, let's see these are just some modern pieces here I'm not gonna talk let's see if I can really do this without talking <laughs> I really do need to save my voice for tomorrow school starts for me tomorrow so <laughs> and I'm a lecturer Just ignore my husband. He's talking to my dogs. <laughs> this bead keeps rolling around everywhere. It's a glass bead. But, yeah, that'll show up in a little bit with a host of other little goodies. This is vintage. Ledger. These are old tarot cards. Cards I made. Thick. Vintage playing cards. More vintage playing cards in the same color theme. Try not to do themes um, unless, and this really is a no theme journaling, a junk journaling embellishment kit. But, um, you know, with this Heidi book, I couldn't help but go with pinks and purples and blues. So that's kind of where, where I'm going with this. This, I have to talk, sorry, um, is really interesting because there are like oh my gosh snow white is just you know she's all over the place right i love one image where an artist put a white apple in her hand a mac apple which sort of lifts this legend fairy tale legend and brings her up to the future uh which is a really neat uh, image if you've never seen it before it was pretty popular for a while so these are the old snow white blues and pinks and these are the more modern snow whites Disney cards okay and then I've got some more tickets that I 
made. I tried not to make a lot of um, pieces for this so that the artist can just, you know, take it away. Um, I love this Paula Lemon. I got, look guys, I got a little bit better <laughs> at those lines. Um, that, that's just such a brilliant idea. Um, but yeah, those are just kind of with some old book page um, pages just kind of stamped. And what I did was used this um, ticket here and just traced it on, cut it out, and made these. Okay, and this is a ticket off of something that I purchased a while ago. Whoops, sorry, bumping you around. Uh, let's see. Now, this is really cute, and I know some artists who appreciates vintage. You know, this is why we don't throw away old books. Um, I know everybody says, "Don't tear up the old books. Don't do it. No, because it's difficult." And, and I love that one lady commented and said it's so conflicting. It really is. Um, but again, guys, vintage. You know, it has its place, and it's so beautiful. It's such a beautiful experience, I imagine, or at least from, from a seller's point of view, of bringing vintage pieces up to today. Um, like, you know, her holding a Mac apple, a white Mac apple instead of her red apple. Um, I think it just totally brings Snow White up to the 21st century. Um, vintage is awesome, and it's okay to... Um, repurpose it, uh, re-love it, re-cycle um, it, which is my favorite. Um, let it live again. Give it new purpose. Give it new meaning. Um, it still holds on to the past, but I think it's also pretty awesome if you can actually mix vintage with modern. Um, I included these box ends. Now, I told you from that other box that, you know, from another video, I couldn't tear the um, shabby chic pink, pink box you know I just couldn't tear it up this one was already sort of where is it it was already um, sort of broken into bits and pieces and I found this years ago um, with a bunch of paper dolls in it and they were all vintage and they sold so fast out of my Etsy shop that I couldn't keep them you know listed fast enough um, and the paper dolls were really good, beautiful, good pieces in good condition. They were not all Mary Poppins. They were like all different kinds. And I know I pinned some of them so you can see that on my Pinterest if you ever go in there and look around. Um, so these two pieces I've included in the kit. All right. And this is beautifully dated right there. Um, if you can see that, let me try to get it to focus. 1964 okay and it was already sort of um, broken but I kept it in fact I have a lot of old boxes like this that um, I hold on to just because you know there's there's purpose for that there's there's something for that um, and so that's why I included these two pieces okay all right, let me stop talking. Vintage image. Uh, I backed it with some more book pages. Pattern paper. I just made a little tag, a little card. Now we're moving into a little bit of, well, here's another so-called photo mat. Um, and I just put some washi, trying to hold to that same blue and pink theme. And I stamped that with a tree. I didn't do a lot of, you know, personalizing stuff in here because, you know, I wanted the buyer to be able to do that. And then this is vintage. This comes out of one of those ornate, very old ornate um, frames. And it's so yellowed around here. You can see where the original color is, but because maybe it was exposed to the sun a lot, it turned um, sort of this beautiful lavender purplish um, color. All right, so that's in there. And then, let's see, you get lots of ephemera. Now, this is from my aunt's estate, this, this, some of these pieces. Um, this is a 1982 calendar that used to come in the mail. Here's a piece here, 1980. You can just kind of see how things changed over time a little bit. 
Here's a library card from the 80s. 79 is like the first um, stamp right there. Um, older receipts. All right. And some more ephemera. This comes from my auntie's estate. These are old little um, pieces. Again, a lot of this stuff came in the mail. Okay, so you get that. Just a little tag I made and stamped it right there at the bottom. Grungy coffee dyed paper. An image for the buyer to play with. And you'll see this image in a lot of kits as well as some of the other ones you've seen before because I don't have a lot of um, images that uh, I have several. Like this one, I couldn't figure out what to do with it um, yet, but I'm sure it'll it'll show up somewhere. This came from my auntie's estate because again, she had a lot of ornate frames on her wall that had a lot of um, images like this, and I was able to cure to secure a, a few of them and that's just a coffee dyed uh, index card ephemera uh, that I scanned so you can interpret that how you will ephemera from um, my great auntie's estate some of this is some of it isn't Okay, this is old stuff. This little piece here, even though Washington is upside down, it's dated 1919. And I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Okay, so little things like that I just love. I think they're so much fun to put into kids. Excuse me, even though this is not um, pink and blue and green and you know what I mean now guys this is a lot of fun I scan these because I couldn't let go of the original pages um, this I showed I believe this a long time ago these pages a while ago where this is sort of like an accounting of what it means well an accounting of how much things cost to take a date out and so what I did was scan these and this is the original color I didn't do any coffee dye and so one of these says rent to car date number one six dollars and thirty cents street car twenty cents date number three ice cream twenty cents total seven fifty and of course there were some tickets for a show in there for a dollar uh, refreshments two dollars and fifty cents and I really wish you guys could see this maybe you can there we go I'm gonna regret this because now I'm already like way over again but I, I just had to include these in here. Some of these were really interesting, um, like gas and food and theater, hotel tips, liquor, it, haircut and shave, 75 cents, meals. This came out of an old book. I think it was a history book. And it just, you know, was a sort of a compilation of different dance Saturday night, dance after dance, dance Friday night, auto expense, candy, car fare and return. <laughs> a lot of fun there and so I just you know uh, made those into cards and they're on cardstock so you can put those into your kits as well there's some hymnal um, there's a larger page of that with evening dress handkerchief finger wave look at that guys finger wave stockings and miscellaneous and this came out of a book I'm not kidding. I wish I could grab it. I think, uh, no, I better not because I'm already like over. So you'll get several of those. Some book pages. Vintage. Coffee dyed poetry. Robert Burns. Coffee dyed poetry. This cutie. and some index cards and tags and these are all coffee dyed i 
I can't even hardly finish my sentences because I feel like I'm always rushed on these videos. These are just tags. And they're fairly long. Um, so there you have those images. Beautiful, long, panoramic, I think is what you call this size, of an old vintage postcard. Oh, let's see, Normandy, France. Old vintage postcards, perfect for that blue. And there might be some inscripts in here, but you can, you know, um, some old vintage uh, paperback covers. Images. Book pages, old book pages. This is awesome. Look at these. This is ephemera. You can turn this into ephemera. And I included several pages of this. Oh, my great grandmother loved red begonia. I know. I say that all the time. And that was the gift to her begonia for Mother's Day and a watermelon. Those were the good old days. My great grandmother, she was 92 years old. My great grandmother. So you can cut these up and make your own ephemera. Um, let's see. I think you can see all this, guys. All right. Um, there's some crochet pattern geraniums, giant iris. Hmm. And pansies, so much velvet. Uh, so there's a lot of ephemera that you can. This would be great for a gardening book, even though at least we are moving into fall. And let's see, images on cardstock from my own books. These are not from the internet or anything like that. I think I have these on these two ladies on the front of my Etsy shop. Okay, so you get those. A Gypsy Girl. This is an original book page. And she's Moorish. But we would just see her, if, if I didn't have this text at the bottom, I would just automatically interpret her as like a gypsy. And look at that. That's what she is. Okay. Some um, more hymnals pieces on cardstock. Some bingo pages, white, fairly contemporary. Um, some pink old cards. You can cut this up, make tags with it. I love recycling old stuff. And then some beautiful images. Since this is a Heidi book, I believe I took this um, or had these already in a pile of children's um, books. And this is a Heidi series as well, I believe. Okay, so you can either save these for later, use them for this so-called theme that really isn't a theme. It's just I'm going off that front cover of the Heidi book. Um, or you can use them for a children's book later or whatever. And then this is a map page. Cardstock, it's pretty heavy. Um, but I love the purples and pinks and blues. A pattern. You can always use that for a sewing journal. And then lots of coffee dye. Small coffee dyed stuff. Some of my larger envelopes. Book pages of maps and text. Dictionary. I love this dictionary page. It just sounds so wonderful, especially after you coffee dye it. Uh, let's see. This is not ledger paper. This is kind of like an accounting of your day paper, but it's dated 1984. Coffee dye. Coffee dye. Coffee dye. And then, of course, my coffee dye paper. It was so hot um, this summer. But it's raining now and it's still hot. So we're getting some August warm rains, um, which are fabulous. But at the same time, it's like, eh, because <laughs> it's still hot. It's still so hot here. 
Okay, so you get that. And finally, because the phone's going to cut off, ribbon. There's those tulips again, almost similar to this piece my mom gave me. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Beads that are vintage. A whole package of them, never opened. And these are old, but I thought that that color is just fabulous. Um, some florals. These are, this is from my great auntie's estate. It's blue. This is um, from my stash. But trying to go with that same bluish theme. And remember, I'll say it every time, there's no need to distress my auntie's flowers because look at them. They're old and distressed. But she wasn't a, a smoker or anything like that. So when I just threw this card in there because of the color, it's um, from the tarot cards, but there's just text on the back. You can distress that and turn that into a beautiful tag. There's some blue uh, lace and some little material piece that's in blue and pink with some uh, pink lace. I think I'm almost out of this. I've like put it in everything just about and I'm almost done. And finally the last part, old broken jewelry piece. Hopefully you can see that. Come on, phone. There we go. Isn't that pretty, guys? It's like an old, um, I don't know what you call it. It's like an old jewelry piece of sorts. And then there's a button, some beads, a big old hunkin' earring that's in pink. Broken pieces of pink. Big gigantic pearl in blue, teal some flat back um i don't know what you call those um and then there's some beads this comes from an old um necklace not an old piece but you know what i mean it was it's um broken jewelry is what i'm trying to say and then buttons and some flowers and some more and finally the glass bead that was running around all over the place earlier this one whoops let me turn those over there we go so you get all of that to make a charm or a dangle with and all of that goes with this pretty cover okay so um, that's that collection guys. Um, I gotta sort of skedaddle off and um, finish up on some things for uh, school tomorrow as it begins for me. Um, I will be back uh, with a few more kits um, pretty soon and again if you contacted me and you're interested in a kit please contact me through Etsy and that way I can you know set up a listing for you if you like what you see or whatever um, and we can kind of go from there because I mean I don't really check social media a lot um, I check my Instagram quite a bit um, and I'm at Etsy all the time um, and so that's those are the best places to get in contact with me if you're really interested in something that I have here or kits like this. Okay, I hope everybody is having a beautiful um, Tuesday. Um, I will be in the classroom all day tomorrow, so I'll be back, especially this weekend, I'll be back. Um, and I will also have um, some more, uh, two more racks going out. They've been kind of slow um, just because, you know, I didn't teach the whole summer, so I have to kind of budget and be careful, um, you know, on how much I put out um, and how much you know comes in so um, that's it guys I guess that's it so I'll be back with more goodies and more of these small cute little books um, I'm out of the prayer books the little small burgundy ones the tiny ones but I still have a few of these left um, and one of these I put the whole thing in a thank you pack 
um, for, from someone for someone that bought it so um, I'm just kind of waiting uh, to see what's gonna happen with these so I may make a sewing thing I don't know I also have just to let you know sneak preview um let's see I have here we go a cowboy theme that's coming up <laughs> So I have a lot of good Western Indians, cowboys, um, little house on the prairie kind of images in there. S not necessarily from that show, but that kind of lifestyle and living style or at the time. Um, so you can look forward to that if you're interested in that kind of thing. That's probably going to be the next kit that I list. And then I may do some fall and Christmas. I don't know. I'm just kind of all over the place right now. We'll see how it goes, um, given I'll have lots of grading to do. Um, so anyway, bye everybody. Adios. Sale pues. Orale pues. Bye.